Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. I'm an SP architect and in this session we are going to discuss various topics on uh, real-time FAQs. Uh, this is a part two of this uh, discussion. So if at all, if you're looking out for SAP trainings, you can contact us at our email id info at the So the question is like, what are the different types of testings? There are a lot of testings that we have in, in the real time in the implementation project, uh, wherein like I'm going to discuss uh, a lot of types of testings that we, uh, we come across in the implementation project. You can remember a few and uh, it's it's like uh, it, it depends on uh, project to project. Uh, some it varies from project to project. Okay, so there could be different types of uh, testings, and uh, you know the first testing that we are discussing right now is the unit testing. This is done by the consultants mostly in the development testing system, uh, testing server, and client to check whether the transaction codes are working properly or not. This is a unit testing. Then we have the configuration testing. The configuration testing ensures that all the requirements supported by the standard SAP are properly configured and verified. So the main objective of the testing is to test the functioning of the individual SAP transactions after baseline configurations in, in, uh, is completed and to identify any configuration related defects. For example, if let's say FICO, FICO consultants have configured all the uh, all the configurations from their point of view, starting from the company code to uh, and the, all the configurations till the fiscal year and all. So uh, we, we are going to test it whether, the, whether those, uh, those configurations have been done properly or not under the configuration testing development and unit test development unit testing so it's basically used for uh, uh, identifying the gaps in the requirements so the objective of this development uh, unit test testing is to ensure that the development objects are performing as per the requirement and design specification so basically this uh, dut will be for a bad uh, technical technical guy so this will be on the technical point technical part so then we have the integration testing. This testing is connected with the most realistic data with number sequence of number number of modules. So basically, we'll try to replicate the data which is which is uh, which is there in the production server into the test system testing server, and then we are going to do this integration testing and uh, the replications of our transaction on other transactions. So uh, those things will be taken care in the integration testing. So interface testing so testing of various interfaces at different points of our projects uh, you should be clear when you when you need to test what interface so interfaces are basically to exchange the data and all so those those will be taken care of whether the whether the interfaces are working properly or not will be tested in the interface testing and user acceptance testing one or more users uh, would test the test and uh, sign off whether the transaction codes are working properly or not so this is basically user acceptance test as the name indicates is done by the users users in the sense the client uh, from the client end the end users those those people will be uh, uh, involving in the uat uat and they will be approving the uh, they, they will be approving whether it, whether our developments are working properly or not this would be also include a scenario type testing so sap stress load or performance testing this this mainly uh, uh, is to test the system response whether it, the time is acceptable performance performance is uh, expect i mean like is the uh, is the performance and the speed of the performance is acceptable or not is what we are going to test in the uh, in this loop in this testing then we have the sap security authorization testing this is the this is to ensure that the end users are only able to execute the transactions that are intended intended as per the as per the sod now sometimes what happens is like you know we we might end up uh, giving more access to the end users which might be misused and kind of stuff like that so we we would be making sure that every one of the every one of the end users are getting a right kind of uh, access and not not more more not more or not less so those things will be taken care of in the sap security authorization testing and batch testing batch testing tests that all the batch processes required are performing as per expectations and the scheduler is working as expected backup and recovery testing this is uh, to test the system backup processing and also the restoration process is verified here 
and whether uh, i mean like if they if, if, uh, we are going to check the backup process actually so how is it uh, uh, where it is getting backed up and all those things whether it is working properly or not something like that. so performance and load testing the performance testing is performed to verify whether the performance of each operation is as per expectation the objective is to verify the response time of the transactions under the different conditions and cutover testing this testing is performed to ensure that all the required activities data migration quality check manual update and data synchronization can be completed prior to go live within identified cutover window and the objective of this testing is to ensure that the data conversion dependencies of the cutover activities and timing match with the cutover plan so this is more of specific to time related uh, you know uh, uh, completion of the of our configurations and developments in the implementation implementation project we have sap cutover or dry run testing so this is just a sim uh, simulate number of single time events such as the extraction of data from your legacy system validating the data data conversions etc so regression testing this is the test to test whether the changes to configurations have been made uh, made changes to functionality intended intended for so basically the regression test is like you know we are going to test whether the configurations are properly done according to the uh, according to the requirement so user acceptance test uh, we have already discussed that but uh, i'm discussing it again in more in detail so user acceptance testing is conducted by in, in by a group of business end users in order to validate that the system meets requirements relevant to their functional areas this test uh, testing will ensure that the system is acceptable from the user's perspective and is performing as per the requirement as well as the expect, expectation from the users pre production testing uh, Pre-production testing is to verify that the application and its interfaces can operate in the production environment. Its focus is on the operational aspects of the system, but not on not a thorough functional test, but a subset of it. So this testing is generally the final part of the testing exercise prior to go live. So uh, we have discussed a couple of testings here, and we are going to discuss. We can have a lot of uh, other testings which are not discussed here. These are a couple of testings which we have covered here. So what are the steps in effective SAP test case? So determining the SAP role required to execute the SAP test case, that's the first one. Identify the SAP transactions that needs to be executed for the test case. And test, test data requires executing the test case. So determine whether the data needs to be created or whether it is already there or uh, another tester or uh, whether the data is logged or cannot be modified so we need to know about the data very clearly are there any prerequisites required to run this particular test cases also we have to is something which we have to know creative create negative as well as a positive scenarios so the black box and black box and white box testings we call them so create detailed test steps test coverage should be robust document defects in a timely manner as soon as they are discovered that's very important and what are the, what are the tools useful for sap testing uh, we have hp qtp that's quick test uh, professional tool then we have testing anywhere this is also one tool selenium ibm rational functional tester visual studio test professional then we have ecat is very popular and sap tao and silk test test complete win runner load runner water these are all some of the tools used for sap testing mention what are the types of work processes in uh, in sap so there will be different types of work process dialogue nq update background spool message server and gateway these are the work processes that we have mention what is the difference between kernels support packages and sap node the difference between kernels, support packages, and SAP note is uh, SAP note by implementing SAP note, an error in a single program or transaction is removed. So it actually updates the software with a patch. So for updating some patches, we're going to do the S notes, and we can also upgrade the existing software also through S note patches. Support packages 
all known errors are corrected by applying SAP support package. So this is complete package. Uh, if it's a for specific transaction, it's 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 basically from S node. And if it's a completely overall for the software, then it is support package. And SAP kernel, it is the core of the application. When a kernel is upgraded, it means all an older version of uh, of the various EXE files get replaced with the latest ones. Mention what is ECAT. ECAT is used to execute and create functional tests for SAP and it is an inbuilt tool that becomes a bundle with SAP with the primary objective of automated testing of a SAP business processes. Mention what are the useful features of ECAT. So you useful features of ECAT are uh, testing transactions, scenarios and reports, test remote systems, call BAPIs and functional modules easily, uh, check authorizations, test updates, test the effective effect of uh, changes to customized settings, check system messages. Mention what is the SAP cutover testing. So SAP cutover testing is usually performed once in a project's life cycle. In this phase, a full, full scale execution of all tasks is involved to retrieve data from legacy systems and then to implement an, any kind of data conversions load the results into the SAP system and fully validate the results including a user sign off. And what is uh, SAP landscape management? This is very important. This is the latest one which we have right now. So SAP landscape management is the new name we use uh, from the beginning with the version 3.0 of the product. The virtualization part of the name was misleading to some customers and we had decided to remove it so this also required a change of the abbreviations which is now uh, landscape management so what is the what is sap landscape management all about a landscape uh, landscape virtualization man management all about so now right now the sap landscape virtualization management is called as sap landscape management the virtualization a word is removed now. So SAP Landscape Virtualization Management software is a management tool that enables the SAP basis administrator to automate SAP system operations, including end-to-end -end SAP system copy refresh operations. So the software is shipped as an add-on to SAP NetWeaver 7.3 application server Java and is applicable in two editions like standard edition and uh, enterprise edition. The last version of LVM is 2.1 beginning with version 3.0 the product is called sap lama it means um, landscape management instead of landscape virtualization management so as i discussed virtualization word has been removed now in the latest version okay so if you like this video share it with all the sap professionals and also with the sap aspirants uh, who are up applying or who are preparing for the jobs on SAP platform and uh, do let me know in the comments which type of videos would you like to see in the future so that I can make uh, videos related to it related to your requirement so basically I have been given uh, 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 suggestions that uh, I can I could I can create more of a real time kind of question answer so I did that I did that now in this these these videos so let me know what type of videos you would like to see and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll take it and uh, do those kind of videos. Thanks for watching this video and do uh, yeah do follow us. Thank you.